the overall goal of this experiment is to test the effect of laser ablation of certain neurons on circuit activity and behavior. With this experimental technique, we can examine the necessity of neurons in a circuit underlying behavior. This method can help answer key questions in the behavioral neuroscience field, such as how prey is perceived and how prey capture behavior is generated by neuronal activity. The main advantage of this technique is that neurons can be specifically ablated because of the genetic labeling of these neurons and also a high spatial resolution of the laser. After raising larvae and mounting them in 2% low melting agarose according to the text protocol, Place the agarose embedded larva under a two photon laser scanning microscope and start the microscopy system. Open the image acquisition software and under the laser tab, click the on button to turn on the laser. Wait for the status of the laser to change from busy to mode locked. On the Channels tab, set the laser's wavelength to 880 nanometers for EGFP ablation or 800 nanometers for G-CAMP ablation. Select the 20x objective lens by manually moving the lens revolver. Then click the Locate tab, click GFP to change the optical pathways, and directly view the fluorescence by eye. Center the zebrafish larval brain in the field of view. Then.